Today we will develop an agricultural logo. So first of all from the toolbar select this ellipse tool. Now by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard, drag it and make it a circle. Now let's remove the fill color of this circle. So click here and remove the fill color and keep outlines only. Now select this one, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And now drag it outside and make the size little bit bigger. Now select this two, edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And by pressing shift and alt key, drag it down. Now select this one and drag it down. Now by using arrow key, move this circle towards upward. Now select this one and this one. Take shape builder tool and choose color and make it a shape here. And delete this. Now select this one and drag it. And by using arrow key, take it towards right hand side. Now select this one and this one by pressing shift key. Take shape builder tool, choose color and make it a shape here. And delete those. Now select it and remove the outline color. Similarly select this one and remove the outline color. Now from the toolbar select this ellipse tool once again and here draw an ellipse. Let me change the color so that it would be visible for you. And now take this direct selection tool. Select this upper anchor point and the down anchor point by pressing shift key and click here. Now select this direct selection tool once again and select this object. Select this anchor point and take it little bit down. Now let me rotate it. Again select this, click on reflect tool by pressing alt key, take the center point here and leave it. Select vertical, copy. Using arrow key take it towards right hand side. Now select them both by using alt key make a duplicate and place it here. Make the size little bit smaller. Now select these two and from here unite it. Select these two and unite it. Now select them and from here click on blend tool. After clicking blend tool click here and click here. Now select them go to object expand it. Click OK. After expanding, ungroup it so that we can make the gap uniformly here. So select this object and take it down. This one also take it down. So this way by using arrow key, make the gap more nicely in between. Now take this pen tool and here draw a line, a straight line by pressing shift key up to up to here and increase the stroke and from here choose this profile width so we need to reverse this width so select this one and from here under these properties you will find this width profile and here is a option for flip so click on flip and width profile is flipped now now select this one and expand it now take ellipse tool and here draw a circle by using arrow key take this circle downside and make duplicate by pressing alt key just drag it 
again drag it by pressing alt key and make duplicate here too now select this tool take shape builder tool change the color and make a shape here and delete this and remove the outline color now select this one duplicate by pressing alt key now select this one and from here take this scissor tool and cut it from here from here to here and now drag this one to the brush and select art brush okay select this upward direction and click OK now select this this one and click to the brush select this one this one and this one and take shape builder tool take color from here and make a shape now delete those remove the outline color you can choose the black color so that it can match up here also we need this type of shape so select this one and drag it here and make it a smaller in size and rotate it now select them take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete this now select this one do right click on your mouse arrange and bring it to the front and here draw some landscape objects from here to here and remove the fill color for now draw the shapes like this and from this side also draw it like this now take ellipse tool and here draw a circle and from here make a boundary like this now select those by pressing shift key and increase the stroke from here and expand it after expanding select this one and this one now and select this one also now take shape builder tool change the color and make a shape here and now delete those now select them and remove the outline color now take text tool and here write the company name and place it here and drag it and make a duplicate here and here write business tagline and make it smaller in size now select this one and change the font so here this I've shortened here now it seems perfect so select this one and this one and from here expand it after expanding take this rectangular tool and draw a rectangle here now select them by pressing shift key take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it now let's change the color so select this one and I'll apply the gradient color
select this one and this one and change the color and from here also draw a leaf like this and send it to back so for this one let's change the color And now let's save this logo in PNG24 transparent. So go to export, save for web. And from here, instead of JPEG, select this PNG24 transparent and you can view it. And now save. So let me save it in desktop, give any name and save it. So after saving the transparent logo, now you need to open your Photoshop. Either if you have uh, Photoshop CS6 or CC, it doesn't matter, all supports this mockup. So open your Photoshop now. In Photoshop, open your transparent logo and the mockup file. Now open the logo mockup PSD file. If you don't have this mockup file, then you can check the description link and download it from there at the top layer of the mockup double click here and now drag your transparent logo image over the mockup file and leave it here place it at the center you can drag it and make the size little bit more bigger and mark it now unmark the original uh, mockup background and close the tab click on yes and wait for the mockup to be applied here you'll see see the changes once mockup is applied here and this is the result hope you like this tutorial if you like this video you can support our channel by doing like share and subscribe and you can watch more videos uh, already uploaded for logo design on this channel thank you